Hey everybody, David Alter here for Rinkwide Toronto, presented by Bodog, Canada's home for casino games and sports odds where everyone goes to play. And tonight it is the Toronto Maple Leafs home opener against the Washington Capitals. And as you can see, they're getting everything set up. They've got the scarves ready to give out to everybody. Uh, but more importantly for the Maple Leafs, they're looking to rebound after what was an unexpected 4-3 uh, loss to the Montreal Canadiens on the road shell in Keefe. Uh, holding court with the media moments ago and uh, you know it's unlike him to still be kind of steaming over a previous game with another one to look ahead but he was just continuing to hammer home that the Leafs uh, were poor in their execution and he expects a better performance from the Toronto Maple Leafs against the Washington Capitals. Speaking of the Capitals it will be Elias Samsonov's Toronto Maple Leafs debut tonight and it just so happens that he's going to take on his former team, the only team he's known uh, in his first start. The 48th Highlanders will be here. They've been uh, around uh, Scotiabank Arena. Before that, Maple Leaf Gardens, the staple of every Toronto Maple Leafs uh, home opener. So uh, it'll be the same 20 guys. There will be no lineup changes. The Leafs can't do that because of their cap situation. But they're not even going to mix up lines or defense pairs. Uh, literally, uh, Keith just saying just wants better execution and a better mindset going into the game. So that'll be something to watch. Before the skate, just a few guys skating around uh, these parts. Uh, Jordy Ben was one of them. Early in the preseason, he injured himself, a groin injury. They said he was going to be out a minimum of three weeks, but we didn't see him skating at all. So we knew that that was going to be longer than that time frame. So now he's back on the ice for the first time. They put him on season opening long-term injured reserve. So what that means is he will not be available to the Leafs, even if he is starts to recover in time until November 5th at the earliest. And then even then, the Leafs have to kind of figure out, do they have money for him? Someone else kind of has to get hurt. It's kind of a weird money in, money out situation that's not necessarily exclusive to the Maple Leafs, but something they may have to figure out once Jordy Ben is able to return. So Toronto Maple Leafs, Washington Capitals, it'll be very interesting to see. We'll have your post game, myself and Rob Wong following the game. Make sure you like, follow all the Rinkwide Toronto social accounts and subscribe to the podcast. Rinkwide Toronto presented by Bodog, the place for free casino games, poker tips, and the latest sports odds. Rinkwide Toronto, pre-game, post-game, every game.